Okay, so today uh, I wanted to run a bit of an experiment. I wanted to see if we can see any differences uh, the way we kind of prompt VO3. So uh, I kind of came up with three different ways to prompt it. We're gonna use kind of the uh, a bit famous now JSON prompting for VO3. Uh, I'm gonna do natural language and I'm gonna introduce kind of a new format for prompting and that is gonna be the XML video prompt. Uh, it's a version of uh, JSON that is kind of yeah well known from programming, right? Uh, so the way I want to do this today, you can see here I have created three different agents that is going to rewrite the prompt for me. It's going to create a JSON video prompt, it's going to create an XML video prompt, and it's going to take our input here and kind of rewrite this agent. It's going to rewrite our input prompt here and try to enhance this natural language prompt. So you can see here I put in the prompt uh, a cardboard box is sitting in an empty living room. Suddenly the box explodes and open uh, a full living room decorated in seconds with a couch, tables from zero to full interior. The scene is eight seconds long, fitting audio and style for an IKEA ad. This video has been pretty famous, right? So you can see I ran this through my three agents here. And we kind of came back with a JSON format, an XML format of the prompt. And here you can kind of see the full enhanced natural language prompt. So this just turned our input into a new natural language. You can see the scene opens with a pristine sterile white living room. And we kind of go down here. So this is kind of our rewritten enhanced prompt. Uh, like many uh, of these models already do for you. But I kind of wanted to make my own version of this. So if I go into my file here, here you can see the full... Uh, uh, yeah, just let me close this. You can kind of see the full uh, XML prompt we got. So this has kind of the prompt, the description. We have some negatives, configurations, camera movements, lighting, characters. We have some dialogue if that is needed, right? You can see there's no human characters present. Uh, if you look at kind of the JSON prompt, it's basically the same ID, but uh, maybe this is a bit more structured and easy to read. We have the prompt, we have some negative prompts, we have all our uh, configurations like 69 and we kind of have everything here right like we've seen before. So what this is going to do is it's going to do this kind of autonomous for us in parallel here. So it's quite quick to create these prompts but what I want to do is compare them. So the first one we have here is of course our, you can see here, this is our JSON prompt right. So let's watch this. And then just compare them. Let's check out the XML part and let's check out the natural language. Uh, they look pretty similar if you ask me. So I'm just gonna play this tree and let's try to see if we can see any differences. Okay, so let's start with the uh, JSON prompt here, right? So I'm just gonna open up this and let's do a full screen here and let's watch this. Okay, that was pretty cool, right? That was kind of exactly what we wanted. We had that empty box and it kind of exploded out and kind of interior and put some interior into this. Uh, so let's watch this one. This is the XML tag prompt. Uh, so I'm just going to open up this. Okay, so it was a bit different. It kind of had more of that explosion. And I think I like the audio more here, but uh, that could be like uh, the, the, the non-deterministic factor. We don't really know that. Uh, but all in all, they looked quite similar. So let's take a look at kind of our last one. This is going to be the one where we have this enhanced, uh, enhanced uh, natural language prompt. Okay, that looked really good, right? There was one thing that was pretty strange though. Let me turn off the sound here. Uh, when we got here, everything looks good, right? That was super smooth. I'm gonna play it once again, but after here, what happens here with the couch here? If I play this now, why did that happen? It was perfect up to that point. Let's watch it one more time because that looked really cool, right? Yeah, that was really good, except for kind of the two last seconds there, I kind of ruined everything. But uh, that, I would give that to the natural language enhanced prompt for sure. 
Uh, and they do kind of the structure here, right? They have the two second mark, the four second mark, the six second mark. So that is pretty looking pretty good for this enhanced feature here. Uh, but let's move on. I want to do a second example to see. Let's do some kind of street interview or something. So the way I have set up my edges now is I just do a slash. I do VO3 and then I can do my argument, right? So I'm going to do something like. So let's do a street interview in the pouring rain. A guy asks a random female, how does this 30 day rain shower affect your life? The female gives her answer. Eight seconds in, New York midday. The shot is filmed by a bystander on a shaky handheld camera. So when we run this now, you can see we are taking this uh, input here. We are sending this to all our different agents. So now this is going to create a JSON prompt of this. Uh, the XML prompt agent is going to create an XML video prompt. Uh, this is going to JSON and we're going to use an enhanced natural language prompt. So I'm just going to let uh, these three agents run now. And in a few seconds, we should have kind of the, uh, the prompt here, right? So we can just paste it into uh, VO3. Okay, so that was done. So if you go to our file now, we should have like a um, street interview, right? So I'm going to copy this, paste it in here. We're just going to use VO3 fast. So let's run the XML prompt and let's grab the enhanced uh, NLP uh, prompt here. Copy that. Let's go back to here. Let's paste it in and let's run this too. Uh, do we have our JSON prompt? Uh, JSON prompt is here. I'm going to copy that. Let's go back here, paste it in. Okay, so now we have sent all our prompts. So let's just wait for the answer here uh, or wait for the videos and let's see if there are any differences. Okay, good. So that didn't take too long. So the first one here is going to be the, um, this is the XML uh, prompt. So let's see how that turned out. So let's open up this and let's have a listen. How does this 30 day rain shower affect your life? Well, it's definitely made getting around a lot harder. How does this 30 day rain shower affect your life? Well, it's definitely made getting around a lot harder. That was really good. I really like kind of the movement in the background here. I kind of like the scene and kind of the, the sound of the microphone in the rain was really good. I think this was a really good uh, result, to be honest. And she has the hoodie on, I kind of like that. And he has the, the umbrella on, so yeah, that was a really good one. Let's check out, uh, this is gonna be the enhanced natural language prompt. So let's uh, bring that up to full screen. How does this 30 day rain shower affect your life? Well, it certainly made getting a cab impossible and my apartment is starting to smell like mildew. How does this 30 day rain shower affect your life? Well, it certainly made getting a cab impossible and my apartment is starting to smell like mildew. Again, pretty good. Uh, I kind of, I think I prefer the XML one, but again, this was not bad. Uh, the sound maybe was a bit strange, not perfect, but again, pretty good. Uh, final one is gonna be the JSON prompt, so let's check that out. How does this 30 day rain shower affect your life? Well, it's definitely made getting around a lot slower and my basement flooded a bit. How does this 30 day rain shower affect your life? Well, it's definitely made getting around a lot slower and my basement flooded a bit. Again, that was really good. Um, but for this, I think uh, this was second place. I would give the XML prompt first place, this one, and I will rate this third. But uh, all was pretty good, and I kind of follow my instructions very good. But I prefer this one if I'm gonna, gonna pick one here. So yeah, promising results uh, if you ask me. Okay, so next uh, I wanted to try some ASMR. So let's do VO3 and let's do, uh, I kind of have a prompt there. Uh, I'm not gonna read the full prompt, but basically it's like a 4K ASMR video of a person slicing a hyper-realistic Minecraft obsidian lava block on a wooden cutting board. And you can pause and read the rest here. Uh, we also have some mention of the sun uh, sound design. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this uh, kind of is rewritten and how this is gonna work with our JSON and XML prompt. So I'm gonna run our three agents now and they're gonna generate the prompt for us and let's run them through VO3 now. Okay, so we have our prompts, everything is done. Uh, so let's just start by grabbing the enhanced uh, natural uh, prompt here. So I'm just gonna grab this, uh, copy that. Let's go back to our VO3. 
Uh, let's paste in this one, right? Okay, so we have that going. Uh, let's go back uh, and grab the JSON prompt uh, for our ASMR video. Let's paste in that. Wow, that's already finished. That looked really good, by the way. Uh, let's paste in our JSON prompt. Let's grab our XML style prompt. Uh, let's do that, right? Perfect. Uh, so let's just wait for this. So let's compare them and see if this is gonna be uh, good or not. All three videos are done, so let's start by watching this one. This is, of course, the one with the enhanced uh, natural language prompt. So I'm gonna do the full screen and let's watch this a couple of times. Yeah, that was really satisfying. I like that. This was a good one. Uh, I think these are very uh, good to watch, right? Uh, let's move on to our... This is gonna be our JSON style prompt. So let's see how this turned out. Okay, that was really satisfying. I think I prefer that. And here we kind of did the slice. I think we gave that as an instruction. So that was a, I think I prefer this so far. Uh, we have one more. We have our um, XML style prompt here. So let's blow this up and see how this turned out. Okay, that was the, that was not the best one, right? Because he kind of he did the slice. He almost cut off his finger too, if you look here, right? <laughs> his finger here, but he did like a, a vertical, a diagonal, diagonal slice. But when kind of the it came apart, it was kind of it was kind of <laughs> yeah. That was not the best one. So here, I definitely prefer the. Uh, JSON prompt over this uh, but all in all every result here was pretty good if you ask me so I think definitely this is kind of something I'm gonna start implementing and using in my VL3 workflow these agents are super easy to create uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the example prompts uh, so you can check them out just go to the aivideocourse.com you can find in the top corner here I have a tips and tricks this is of course free and I uploaded kind of the uh, prompts collection here. You can just scroll down. You can see all the prompts we use today. We have the XML format, the NLP format, and the JSON format. You can try this out for yourself, right? So yeah, go check it out, the AIvideocourse.com. And if you want to dive deeper into AI video, uh, this is the course for you. So you can sign up, uh, you can become a member, you can get to your dashboard. Here I have Kind of all the things I have learned so far from AI video. Uh, you can see we have a module on video, a VO3 image to video, huge update. The latest one is to leverage your AI video or your viral AI video templates. As you can see on TikTok here, we have some good success. This is almost at 1 million views now, 500,000 views, uh, just by testing out different ways to use AI video. So go check it out if you want to look at the prompts, that's for free. If you want to sign up for the course, do that too. But yeah, I think uh, these experiments we did today was very helpful for me. So this is uh, this workflow here with trying out both the XML JSON and enhanced natural language prompts. It's definitely something I'm going to implement into my VO3 and AI video workflow. So yeah, I hope you learned something and maybe you want to check out my platform. Go get some tips on the prompting and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Have a great weekend.